Well, hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, Laura's Lupus. Hi, my name is Laura, and I'm a lupus survivor. I created this channel for lupus survivors like myself in order to increase awareness, understanding, and encouragement. In today's topic, we're going to talk about taking care of yourself with lupus. In order to maintain a certain level of enjoyment of your life with lupus, you have to take care of yourself. And that can be difficult because when you're diagnosed with lupus, your whole life will change. And we have to take care of ourselves and adjust to those changes in order to get the best out of everyday life. And so today I got five tips for you. Five really quick tips that you can apply today. Some tips you may have heard of already. If not, take what you need and you can apply these tips to your life right away. You can start today, I promise you. Okay, so let's jump right into it. A tip number one is take your medications. You are prescribed certain medications. You need to make sure you take those on a daily basis consistently and to take those medications as prescribed. That's tip number one. Tip number two is to get plenty of rest. Everyone has been, has been given 24 hours in a day in order to accomplish their task. But with lupus, we've been cheated. Yes, we've been given 24 hours a day, but we've only been allotted a certain amount of energy to accomplish our daily tasks. As we all know that fatigue is one of the main symptoms of lupus. And with that fatigue, we may not be able to get everything done that other people take for granted. And what do I mean by that? You may not be able to run all the errands that you want to run. You, you Sometimes it may be difficult just to take a shower, to do your hair, to cook yourself a meal, you know, to get out of bed. You know, it may be, it may be very difficult. I know sometimes I've experienced where just doing my hair, you know, holding my hands up like this, my hands started to feel like dead weights. And it's because of the fatigue that we experience from day to day basis. And so with this fatigue, we have to learn to prioritize um, our tasks in order to get the most important ones done uh, throughout the day. And even with all of this prioritizing, you may not be able to get everything done that you want to, but guess what? There's always tomorrow. So whatever you don't complete today, you can always put it on the to-do list for tomorrow. And also because we have a certain amount of energy, um, we may need to take naps throughout the day. You may need to take one nap. Some people may need to take two to three naps in order to recoup your source of energy, your energy source. And even with all of this, there are two words that as a lupus survivor will become your best friend. Do you want to know what those two words are? Those two words are help me. Help me. And you know what? It's perfectly okay to say, you know what? I'm having a hard time getting this done. I'm not going to be able to get to this task today. Can you help me? And that's why it's so important to have a good support system. You may need to call on a friend to run your errands, a family member, your spouse to say, you know what? I'm just not going to be able to get this done. And sometimes there are going to be days when you can't even get out of bed and put one foot in front of the other, uh, let alone take a shower, do your hair, uh, cook yourself a meal. Some days you're just gonna have days where you don't feel like getting out of bed and that's okay. If you need to rest for eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours in order to feel better, then you need to go ahead and do that. It's perfectly okay, all right? Now, tip number three is a healthy lifestyle. When we think of a healthy lifestyle, we think of exercise, uh, diet, uh, we think of, you know, getting enough rest. But today, uh, the healthy lifestyle tip is more of a diet thing today is what we're going to talk about. Actually, it's more of a nutrition uh, topic that we're going to talk about. And what I mean by healthy lifestyle, as a lupus survivor, you have to start looking at food as an energy source. As a matter of fact, we all should look at food as a source of energy. But with lupus, it's very important that we eat nutritious meals every day. Because if you're eating a meal 
and it's loaded with fats and oils and sugar and high carbs or it's fast food every day, guess what? Your body is looking for energy from the food that you eat. And when you're eating those types of food, your body's searching like, I need to pull something from what you just ate in order to feel energy. Your energy is already depleted, okay? But when you eat foods that deplete your energy, you're defeating the purpose. And so it's really important that you eat, you know, rule of thumb is to make sure that you're eating plenty of fruits and vegetables and drinking your eight glasses of water. And I know we hear about that all the time, regardless of whether you have an illness or you're healthy, it's recommended that we drink eight glasses of water per day, okay? And so just think about it. Your body is made of 70% water. Every cell and every organ in your body needs water in order to function properly. And so if you're dehydrated, you're already going to feel tired. And, um, you know, dehydration can affect your body in so many different ways. So just try to make sure that you're drinking those eight glasses of water per day. You know, a body that's well oiled and, and lubricated and moisturizes, moisturized, it functions much better. And if you want to know about specific diets for uh, lupus survivors, you can Google that, foods for lupus, or you can go on YouTube. There are tons of information out there on the internet that can help you prepare specific meals for people with lupus, okay? And so tip number four, and I think this one is the most important one, is to stay away from sick people. And that was one of the first things that my doctor told me when I was diagnosed with lupus, to stay away from sick people. Because you know what? Lupus is an autoimmune system disease, which means that your immune system is compromised and it's not able to handle or fight off the different viruses and colds and bacterias and infections that if it was in a healthy state, that it would be able to fight off in order to protect you. The immune system is there to protect you. But if it's compromised, you know, it's not going to be able to protect you as well as it could. Just think of this. The example I always tell everyone, if you're going to the hospital and you're going to visit a newborn baby and that baby was born prematurely, what happens when you go up to visit that baby? They're going to have you to scrub, you know, with antibacterial soap from the tips of your fingers all the way past your elbows and you're gonna to have to scrub for a certain amount of time. After that, you're gonna to have to put on a gown. You're gonna to have to put on a mask and you're gonna to have to put something on your head. Why? Because that baby's immune system is in a weakened state. It's not strong enough yet to handle the things that you may be carrying that you can pass on to that baby. At that time, their immune system, the walls are broken down. They can catch anything. And so with us, with lupus, we have to be careful because you know, we can catch anything. We may not be able to go into public places a whole lot whenever uh, the flu season is high. You know, we may not be able to go and visit our friends in the hospital. We may not be able to uh, have people over if they're sick or coughing or have some sort of infection or bacteria infection. They may not be able to come over. You may have to say, you know what, I'm sorry, but you're sick. I can't allow you to come over today. And that's perfectly okay. You know what? Because back in the day, when someone was diagnosed with lupus, it wasn't the actual disease of lupus that took them out. It was the infections and the it was the infections and the bacteria that took out the lupus person. It's not the lupus itself; it's the bacteria and the infections that we catch that can take us out. You know, we're very susceptible to, you know, streptococcus and staph and and MRSA and everything. It's very easy for us to catch those things, pneumonia, uh, the flu, you know, the common cold, uh, chicken pox, whatever the case may be. Our immune system is so weak that it makes us able to catch it just like that. OK, so stay away from sick people and not only stand away from sick people, but making sure not to just practice good personal hygiene, but excellent personal hygiene. And that involves proper washing of the hands, using hand sanitizer. If you're touching a surface that's been in a public place, that's been touched by many people, 
making sure not to put your hands up to your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. And that's even for a healthy person, okay? So tip number four, stay away from sick people. Tip number five, last but not least, number five. Remember I had five. Rule number five, know your body. And what do I mean by that? It means that you have to become an educated, informed, an advocate for yourself as a patient. And what I recommend is that you keep a lupus journal. If you are experiencing a change that you've never experienced before in your body or with your lupus, jot it down. If you're taking a medication and you have some sort of an adverse reaction or something occurs that has never happened before, write it down. If you're experiencing something more frequently that you've never experienced before with your lupus, write it down. And the reason why I say that, because it's really easy to go to your doctor's appointment and you have it in the back of your mind, oh, I got to remember to ask doctor this before I leave my appointment and to walk out and to completely forget to ask that question. But if you take your journal with you, if you have those questions written down, you know, before your appointment is over, make sure you go through the questions, make sure you get an understanding, make sure each one is answered. Make sure if something is happening that the doctor should know about, any changes, make sure that you mention that. You know, because your doctor is looking at your case objectively from the outside, which means he or she is treating you according to the symptoms and the signs that you describe. And so if you forget something, you know, they may not be able to treat you. And sometimes the doctors with all of their busyness, you know, sometimes something you say may spark a question. And that question may spark another question, but sometimes they don't always ask all of those questions. So you have to become your best patient advocate, okay? And so um, before I end the video, let's do a quick recap. Five tips on taking care of yourself with lupus. Number one, take your medications. Number two, plenty of rest. Number three, healthy lifestyle or regarding nutrition. We talked about that today. Number four, staying away from sick people. And number five, knowing your body, okay? And so for all of my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by this channel. I hope that, um, you know, my open, honest, and frank and layman's discussions with you help you to, you know, get more understanding. I hope you find something informative, encouraging, uh, educational that you can take and apply to your life or that you can pass on to someone who is a lupus survivor, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you can get notifications. When I do upload videos, I try to upload something at least once a week. Also comment and share. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comment sections below. If you have a topic that you want me to discuss about lupus on this channel, please leave it in the comment section below. And before we leave, make sure that you remember that there is life after lupus. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye for now.